everyone, today we're going to talk about support structures. Support structures are needed because sometimes your 3D printed part might have some overhang or might have something that's built at an angle that's too steep to support itself. Now what does that mean? Sometimes when your part is being printed by a 3D printer layer by layer, you might have an overhang that otherwise would start drooping if it didn't have anything to support it. Now what does a support structure do? That supports, that builds a support structure from the floor all the way up to keep whatever overhang your 3D printed part has up. Now within your slicer, you can actually set your maximum angle at which your slicer will start to include support structure. Now it usually ships at 60 degrees, but depending on your 3D printer and what you're seeing in your environment, depending on whether it's cooler or hotter, you might want to start playing with that angle. We usually start using 55 and then go from there. Some use a rectilinear pattern and others use more complex patterns depending on your 3D printer and what slicer you're using. Now if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me at david at easytech.com. Thanks for watching.